since the year began, I've been having crocheting obsession. Let's say the middle of January, I approached a Nubian grandma who has a crocheting shop. I started crocheting, yeah, let's say mid of January. But you know how crocheting projects takes long for a beginner. I started crocheting because I'm a craft guy. And I love gifting people like something personalized. The main reason why I started crocheting is because sometimes maybe you've been invited for some function or an event. I'm always I am not a girl who likes wearing the the thin sleeveless top. So there is this certain day I've been invited for a function. It was a gaming event at Sarit Center. And I wanted to wear a sleeveless top and something like a balloon. The sleeveless top was purple. Yeah, purple in color. So I needed something long. I went to my pin interest mood board and checked for how I can find my sleeveless top. And then I came across this cute bolero and it was knitted. I have a couple of friends who crochet but I did not know if they would be missing convenient at that time because it's not something that they see like it's just there in stock. It was today evening I had the session of the knitted bolero and then the following days the event in its last minute so I said maybe I'll try going to the market. Maybe I can get something really will match my with whatever i want very early in the morning i went to a market i started walking walking around every stops but huh, i did not get anything that was almost close to what i wanted so i was going to every store there is no like there is no bolero and then i happened to find this one bolero but it was not okay the, the color first of all it was off i said i'm going to focus and start crocheting so of course i'll have several fashion emergencies in the future yeah so oh the first day me holding a crochet <laughs> it was difficult like I, I don't know i guess crochet beginners can relate with my story yeah it was difficult and then she was left-handed so whatever she's teaching me she's showing me i have to interpret it in my mind in the opposite way i almost cried <laughs> like i literally did not know even how to hold that crochet hook i only went for the for her classes like every monday to friday i knew how to hold the crochet I knew how to make the stitch and I was only thought one stitch here. Yeah. So I I said, uh, let me go to YouTube and improve my skills so that maybe in the next season when I move near her, I can go to her and then for other lessons for her to correct me, blah, 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 and everything. Because again, getting another crochet designer who can teach me like, I get other people know how to crochet, but they don't know how to teach. Like, I just felt she was the best teacher whom I can learn from. I just said, let me take a slow to slow process in YouTube and then I improve my skills. So this time me solving these fashion emergencies, of course, like personalized and thoughtful gifts. Yeah. So maybe crochet, it would be a way of me extending my love. i am not crocheted a lot of things. At times you just, because you are slow, of course, you won't, like the grandma who taught me how to crochet, she was finishing like five vests in one day. And then me, I'm there on the second row of my stitch. Currently, my muse has been my niece because she's tiny and she takes only one piece of yarn. Uh, that's on top. So I've crocheted for her a uh, thing sponge. That was the first stitch that I did. And then the second stitch that I did, I crocheted for a, her a simple top. This is the first top that I did. It was just a simple top. The second crochet that I've done is this one here. As you can see, <laughs> beginner. <laughs> These are beginner vibes. Because, of course, it's not straight. And this one yarn, by the way, guys, yeah. Actually, after the yarn did not end. This is an oversize for her. 
the first one I did was half a yarn. Okay, not half. Let's say she left a quarter piece of the yarn. I only bought her like a one whole set of piece of yarn. So my first projects will be on the same colors. The stitch is going this way. But previously on the tutorial, it had to go this way. Yeah, so that was a mistake that I did. I wanted to undo it, but I said no, it's okay. I want to challenge myself. I want to design for my niece a crocheting piece. And I'm going to follow a YouTube tutorial and I'm challenging myself for it to take, let's say, 24 hours. I don't know how I'm going to split my 24 hours. Previously, I was taking, let's say, a week to finish a top. I always have a problem of focusing. That's what I know. Like, it's somebody who has ADHD. So I want to crochet within 24 hours and li while listening to Adele Onyango's podcast. My name is Adele Onyango and welcome to another episode of Green So this is my crochet hook. I'm using a 4.5 a millimeter hook crochet hook and then this is my piece of yarn yeah so let's get started another problem that i was facing being taught by the grand show is that she does not know terms sometimes crocheting is something like inborn my Nubian Shosho who taught me did not teach me like this was I, i'm having trouble relating with youtube because how she just tied this way <laughs> yeah, until I went to YouTube, but then I knew, oh, now this is what they call a slip knot. Actually, the first day, she's the one who tied for me. So, I, after my after the first piece of yarn ended, I was like, how will I start another piece of yarn? So I've already tied my slip knot. It's 11.20. I'll attach the link of the crochet. I have no clue what I'm doing, but I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. Hey yeah, guys, I just finished my first row. <laughs> this is how tiny you always look like when you first begin. Oh my goodness. I even don't know if my stitches are the right number according to my foundation stitch. So far, I'm just, I've just done the foundation chain and the first row. Yeah, so guys, uh, the first episode that I was watching from Legally Clueless has just ended. And this, <laughs> this is my progress. Let's say it has been 48 minutes. So this is my, is my first 48 minutes. Oh my goodness. It's taking time. I don't know if I'll be able to finish in the first 24 hours, but challenge accepted. That episode that I was talking about, uh, family boundaries and being the better version of yourself. She was talking about black tanks. The second episode from Adele has finished. Here is the progress so far. I'm loving. I'm just hoping it will come out as how I want it to be. Yeah, so in the previous episode, uh, it was a story of a girl narrating of how she hated being a woman because of how the society has raised her. I guess I'm not in a position to debate that right now because <laughs> I'm even tired. But you know, there's some things that that being said 
according to the society on how like the society standard definition of how a woman should be like a woman should not be loud a woman should not be over ambitious don't allow men to be the center you can be center yourself from men it's not a must like for men to be the center of your life like without men like you can't do anything you're bracketing yourself in this society standard definition of a woman being centered because of a man's existence one episode of legally clueless is done <laughs> yeah so here is my progress i'm close here yeah at least um i'm halfway done plus a quarter <laughs> that's the progress the previous episode Adele was talking about when last did you cry? <laughs> wow, I I cried literally while I was starting this crochet project. Ta -da! And I'm back. Adele's episode that I've been watching ended 30 minutes ago and then I told myself let me focus fast because I've listened to several I want to be digesting it. I focus and finish the first part of my crochet design yeah so here it is um done with the first part so uh -huh. it's currently it's 2 30 pm i will stop from there